Top Server version 6 licensing and registration. Before we get started, you'll want to make sure that you have Top Server version 6 installed on the machine that you intend to use it on. If that machine does not have internet access, you'll want another machine that does have internet access as well as a flash drive to move a file between the machines. The other thing you'll need is you'll need Top Server version 6 activation IDs. If you have newly purchased a top server version 6 license, you should have gotten these in your product delivery email. If you had top server version 5 and it was currently on support, that you should have gone through our upgrade process from version 5 to version 6. Let's start with opening the license utility. Depending on your operating system, it may be under the start menu under software toolbox, top server 6, or you can just search license utility. Once that's open, you'll see this screen. It looks a little different than it has previously. You'll be able to see your product, activation ID, support end date, and the status of your license once you've registered. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking activate. The next screen is going to ask you which kind of license you would like to activate. You can activate a software activation ID or a hardware key license file. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be licensing a software activation ID. Select the radio mark and then click next. This screen has been completely redesigned for top server version six. You'll notice at the top that you can enter an activation ID or multiple IDs as long as each is on its own line. Then you'll notice that we auto-populate the machine name or identifier of your server. This comes directly from your computer. You may also add the location of the server or any description or additional information. This will greatly help if something happens to your license in the future. In version six, you can activate more than one activation ID at a time. You'll want to paste in the activation ID, press enter, and then paste in your second activation ID. If you have more than two activation IDs, you can continue to add activation IDs to this window. Now we can add a little bit more information about the location of the server, as well as a description of the server. Once we have added this information, click save to file and save it into a location you will remember. If this computer does not have internet access, then save it to a USB flash drive now, on your machine with internet access, you're going to want to open a browser and go to registration.softwaretoolbox.com. Once you're there, you either want to click register now at the top or this button here that says register now. Now you'll see a list of products to register. At the very bottom, you will see where it says top server version 6. Select that and click next. In the next step, you're going to decide if you're registering the software for yourself or someone else. If you are a systems integrator, you may want to select someone else, put your information in, as well as your end users. For this video, we're going to go ahead and register as myself or the end user. It's going to ask you for your first name, last name, company, email, and telephone. Go ahead and fill this information out and then click next. In this next step, we're going to select our request file. That's the file that we got from the license utility earlier. Click choose file, select the file, and click look up. You will see that our license information comes up. We see the serial number, our activation ID, the product, activation type, and whether or not this is registered already or if it's been blocked for whatever reason. If it's already registered, or if it does say it's blocked, please contact support. You will also notice that your machine name is listed as well as if you put additional information, it's listed in the notes. We recommend you leave all of that. However, if you'd like to change the notes, you may add more information. When you're ready, click next. In the next screen, you will verify and confirm the information. Please look over your end user information any notes you may have put in, and once you've verified that, go ahead and click register. Congrats, the registration was successful. 
you can go ahead and click download file. This file is also going to be emailed to you, whatever email was in the end user field. If you do need to move this back to a top server machine with no internet access, we do recommend that you zip the file. You'll also notice the file is automatically named with the machine name, as you may have multiple activation IDs per machine. Now we can go back to the license utility and once there, go ahead and select import file. We want to import the file we just downloaded from our registration website. Once you click open, the license utility will automatically begin to process the file. And once it's processed, you will see that registration has been completed successfully. When you click next, you'll be brought back to the original view license area of the license utility. You can see that your product is now licensed, your activation ID is listed, so as well as your support end date and the status of your license. Registration is now complete. If you have any problems with registering your top server version 6, please contact support at support at softwaretoolbox.com. You can also give us a call Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern at 704 849-2773.